Welcome to Name Check. I'm Michael Riedel of the New York Post, and I am joined by a beautiful and very, very talented actress. Annie Paris is how you say it, I believe. But yes, in the old country correct. in Italy, where you're from, it you would, would say be Parise. Parise. <laughs> she is now appearing as FBI specialist Deborah Parker in the following on uh, the Fox Channel with Kevin Bacon. It airs on Monday, but I know her from Clyburn Park, which was a terrific play that won the Tony Award last year. So she jumps back and forth between the small screen, the stage, and the big screen. Yes. Welcome to Name Check, my dear. Thank you so much. All right, um, the following. Uh, is this one of these murky, strange, unsettling kinds of things where we never really know what's going on in the plot? You know what? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the one hand, it is certainly murky and strange. Yes. It is certainly, um, it's a horror. Uh, show. I think I think what it is more than anything else is a gothic romance. It's Ooh. very um, Daphne du Maurier type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. They're very Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe is like there, there's a lot of um, you know it's very psychological, supernatural it's kind very of things going on. Yeah. It's very um, um, yeah, but it really gets into like what are our darker impulses and how do mm. they take like over? Like hearts thumping under the floorboards yes. and cats yes. on people's heads that. who've been people stuck buried in, a wall. in the walls. The and, cask and of so Amontillado. Yes, I love that one. Exactly. That's good. So. Exactly. Uh, and so you're an FBI specialist. What does that mean exactly? What do you specialize in? Uh, I specialize in cults on the show. Mm. So, um, an alternative religion, as the FBI actually calls it. We have a cult. You sure this man wasn't Jordy? Hi. Wait, nothing matched. It was someone else. We weren't supposed to find this place. This is where they met and planned. I think Carol... Carol's using Poe's work as a religion. He's speaking to people through gothic romanticism. As a... Pathology to today's internet techno bread minds. Because as I found out when I uh, started the job, uh, cult is one of the most hotly debated words in the English language, like hmm. the definition of it. Um, hmm. Because obviously it is dealing with religion and people right. feel, you know, very strongly um, on both sides of the fence about right. that. So it's it's sort of a thing we found I, I found in my research it was like it's like one man's cult is another man's religion. So and nobody wants you to refer to them as a cult, of right. course. Interesting, though, the history of cults, though, because I guess the most famous or infamous, we should say, cult of all time was uh, Charles Manson, the Absolutely. Manson family, Helter Absolutely. Skelter, uh, that Vincent yeah. Bogolsi, I think his name was? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was the L.A. district attorney yeah. who solved yeah. the Helter Skelter case. Yeah. And I always thought about cults, and uh, forgive me if uh, you're religious out there, but it seems to me that a lot of cults really involve a significant amount of drug use. That was certainly going on with the Manson family. All yeah. that kind of psychedelic drug Absolutely. use. Absolutely. And that's how uh, Jim Jones, for example, how you cast yeah. a spell on people. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I did, a, I did a lot of looking at Charlie Manson because that's certainly for Kevin Williamson, for our, our creator, that right. was a big inspiration. I mean, b b given that Joe Carroll is a serial killer and he's enlisting other people to do his dirty work with him. Right. Um, also, Jim Jones, but I tried to also look at, um, like, one of the books that I read was called Under the Banner of Heaven. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's John Krakauer's book about yeah. the uh, Utah murders. Yeah, yeah the, very and, good book. and that's an amazing book, which, I mean, you know, looking about at... About the Mormons. About yeah. the, the, the fundamental Church of Latter-day Saints, which, like, the regular Mormon church right. totally disavows them, right, uh, whereas right, right. the FDLS totally disavows the regular Mormon church. Right. And then on the one hand, they're, like, super, super strict in the FDLS about, like, drug use and any of that, but then some of the leaders have, in fact... Been Big alcoholics big and alcoholics drug use. Or big, yeah. even psychedelic drugs. Like yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of like contacting like the higher power. It's it's so just, twisted, some of that stuff. And I will say like in the context of working on this show that some of the scariest stuff that I've read was the stuff about cults because you, you look at it and you go like, how does any sane person- Fall for this. Fall for this. And a lot of the people were ex-drug addicts and yeah. alcoholics that yeah. Jim Jones rounded up in his church. Yes. Do you think that this whole interest in serial killers, do you think it really still stems from uh, Silence of the Lambs? Do you think that Anthony Hopkins' performance is what really has given birth to this whole fascination with serial killers? I mean, this that was an incredible I, uh, landmark yeah. performance. Um, and it's certainly, I think it's certainly one of the draws. I mean, to me, the, the fascination with serial killers is about um, the fascination with the other. Because uh, a serial killer is a psychopath, generally. And, uh, and psychopaths are actually really, really, really rare in our culture. I mean, they're people who don't, or in society, in the world. Right. They're people who don't feel guilt. They're people who don't feel yeah. fear. So I think that m most of us feel those things. Right. And there's a kind of 
I think they're almost like superheroes. I mean, not to glorify them, but do you know what I mean? They're yeah, like yeah, super yeah. villains. Yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. But, but they're actual. They, they, they really do exist. Well, I mean, that's it. I mean, and, and you think of John Wayne Gacy, who buried all those boys in his exactly. basement. I mean, in the clown outfit, entertaining children. I mean, it's, it's but amazing. But if you look at, go back and look at John Wayne Gacy, look at that clown makeup. Yeah. It's all angular. Yeah. Most clowns, you know, they do circles, they do soft, soft lines. And yeah. he had... Yeah. Ooh, if you can capture yeah. kind of this stuff on your show, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to watch because I'll yeah. be too scared. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lovely chatting with you, um, Annie Paris, about serial killers. Yeah. Uh, she is, uh, plays Deborah Parker, an FBI specialist in cults and alternative religions. Yes. In the following with uh, Kevin Bacon, which airs Mondays on Fox. Thank you, my dear, for being my guest. Thank you. I'll see you next time on Name Check.